Hello dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, this is Uncut Fishing and today I invite you to yet another small stream that you haven't seen before. The spinner that I'm be, I'll be using is a pretty worn up Mepsaglia TW copper colored number 2 with a replaced hook and my spinning today is ultralight 2 feet, uh, 7 feet 1 to meters 15 uh, rod. I actually would probably be using my 2 meters 40 rod. Uh, that's my favorite one. But it was broken in the dumbest way possible by yours truly. So just two days ago. So I'll be using this one. Okay, this is pretty good beginning, but it's a small one. As you can see, my target in this stream is brown trout. This is pretty much a typical brown trout, brown trout stream. The time of day is something past nine. And as you can see, sun is shining. I actually I'm really sorry this time, as, as I usually am, for not being there at least half an hour or an hour earlier because there was a very nice fog in the morning. But I read in the forecast that there will be no clouds in the morning and thought why should I be waking up when the sun will be blinding me all the time and there's not too much to gain. But actually there's a, a lesson in that. Use a forecasting app that shows fog. Because fog is as effective as cloudy conditions. And the fog was really really good when I was driving to this place. But now it's gone. And I think that it will now only get worse. Not only will it become very sunny, but also the temperature. The temperature will start rising. It's early August. Well, there's not much to tell actually. Let's try and get some trout. Let's set. Mm. I two times overcooked it in a row. I'm not very used to casting with the spinning. It has shorter length, smaller leaders than I'm used to. Obviously it is lighter, lighter action. So you need more, slightly more power to at least slightly different approach to casting to get the same distance there was by the way a small fish there there could have been a larger one but Apparently not. As you can see maybe, as you can maybe sense, the water here isn't low. There has been some rains yesterday. So water level has risen. There was a take again. Oh, there was a take again. <laughs> and again. Oh, 
Okay, so these cautious takes are really something I don't like. That fish over there has, to, has now grabbed the spinner, or at least attempted. But I don't think we can call those attempts at grabbing the spinner. But it, it attacked it four times or five now. And none of those, it was hookable. They were just bumps. Man, again. These are small fish, so so I'm not really worried. Let's hope that better ones will be more decisive. Obviously, if we manage to find any better ones. Oh. snagged it on that log and usually attempts at unsnagging it in such circumstances will be fruitless from the distance. So I approached it immediately. Nice pot. There was a take there on the first cast, but I, I think again by a small fish. So we had a bunch of takes and hooked two fish. Let's set the goal of 10. I think it's a pretty modest goal for the stream. If I don't reach it in these conditions, I will be mighty disappointed. The sun is, as you can see, still pretty low. So seeing what's happening, it's not so easy. It's not so easy, but despite that, we have a fish number three. It's a slightly better one, as you can see. Off it goes. That was a very blind cast due to sun. But as you can see the fish was larger and although I hooked it barely barely by the lip. So not the most decisive take ever. Still want to cast once more in that into that hole, although no, usually, usually such fish stay alone, occupy the same hole alone. It's not a large fish, by the way, but it's not a small one. That's an old plastic bottle, it appears. I guess you will struggle to find a corner of the earth today where there are no old plastic bottles, unfortunately. Again, I'm facing directly into the sun.
That's where long spinning comes in handy when you need to make these sort of retrieves in very close quarters. Oh, that was a take. Hmm, that was pretty good. I approached it in a pretty crappy manner, I confess. But it's pretty well protected by all of these logs. a take over there, no repeated attempts. Oh man, I take immediately and again unable to hook it. Very small fish, extremely small, small one. <laughs> that was a take. Yeah, so fish, well, I suspect this is due to the time of day, the sun coming out are not really very decisive. This is a shallow stretch and it, it may look pretty good right now, but considering it has been rained yesterday, it is up and fish probably do not relocate us so fast, or maybe they do actually, but this was a pretty nice run for today's conditions, but there were no fish in it, or at least no active one. Yeah, so I sense that 
It's an extremely good day to be fishing this stream, but I should have been there slightly earlier. But okay, let's not think much about it right now. Small one. I get the feeling there are so many of those in there. As you can see, a very small fish. To some extent, it's even good that these smallies are not attacking the spinner. Oh. There was a slightly better one over there. Hmm, some bumps. Yeah, so I'm sticking it. I'm sticking it pretty nicely. I guess you saw it if you didn't rewind and you should be able to see the fish the take was very indecisive I mean fish didn't feel the hook it didn't feel the metal but there were no repeated attempts just one bump It's a very likable spot. Ah, that was a take. Some small fish escorting the spinner <laughs> again I take but I suspect very small ones a slightly better one An old leaf to spice it up, or leaf rather. That's a number five, but as you can see, not much. This is a pretty good undercut, definitely could house a decent one, as you can see there is the current hits the bank, there are some resting, hiding opportunities, plus there is depth, and oh this is a very small one. Fortunately, it came off. So, a lot of small ones in this hole, which forces me to suspect that there were no large ones in there. Uh, 
And this was a very good hole. Typically the one you should look forward to. Apparently not this time, but we are approaching some other nice spots. There will be a nice bend into this direction and I think we can expect something there. Small one. No, these are, I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, I hooked myself. This is it, I mean, I don't know, I don't know if I should even count these fish. But I almost lost my spinning into the water and trying to catch it, I, I hooked my finger. Slightly, slightly to the left, there is a, a window there, as you can see, between the grass on the bank and that log over there. I mean, come on, this is, this is probably the smallest one I've ever caught, at least this year. I won't even show it to you. Just to release without touching the fish. Just grabbing on. Mm. Oh, there was a take immediately. Come on. And I think the fish was again very small, but I'm paying more attention and I lost it immediately. That's good. I'm paying attention to this spot because it is a pretty good spot. There can be a larger fish in there. But again, the amount of small is it's pretty significant, so maybe, maybe there were no large one. Oh, that, that's slightly better. A lot of bumps. The trout is just, as I probably already used that expression, escorting the spinner of its premises like saying get out get out of here you know there are so many small fish in there so the large ones are definitely pretty used to them <laughs> so they are probably pretty used to the act of trying to force them out of their territory so that's what they are probably doing to the spinner. So this is the bend that I was talking about. Mm, trying to be careful wading. I'm wearing just regular wading boots. the chest high waders okay a small one so this is slightly out of control right now for the small ones and maybe it's good that we didn't do not get more because judging by the amount of these fish in there if they were really overactive, it would be quite a, a problem. Oh, there was a nice efficient it tangled the spinner. It tangled the spinner and... Oh, that's not a good cast. Oh, here we go. Oh man, I lost it. That was a nice fish and usually this bend 
it produces these kinds of fish but this time I had it and I lost it will not come out again but there may be others in there that was a nice opportunity and immediately there are no small ones It's not a giant, but pretty good fight, actually. Here it is. I'd say mid to high 30s. At least 14 inches, at least. Very nice darkish color. I'm not sure if it's the one that took it before and got off. It may have been actually, but size-wise it looks very similar, but I've had, you know, this is a big bend and my cast was pretty long, so it may have co uh, come from high upstream. I think my cast was long. So, finally a nice fish after a series of small ones and yeah as I said no small ones in here that larger fish probably scares them away actually even maybe eats some of those really small ones Yeah, there may have been a couple actually here. The bend is long. There are some underwater structures, not stones, but rather So this is not a large one. Not a very nice take. Here it is. Don't wanna squeeze it, don't wanna hold it too long. Oh, there's, I wanted to say there's another one, but I don't know. These tiny ones are difficult to take seriously.
is also worth checking out immediately a take a couple maybe even but a small fish Mosquitoes are really pissing me off. Sorry for the choice of words. Hmm. The spinner tangled. I made a cast over a spider web. And as it was jumping over it, it tangled. Okay, so I suspect this run has nothing else in it. Only that small one, but it's a pretty good run. mosquitoes are getting right behind my glasses and that's the worst thing as you can see a cast over the structure and the fish came out of it. Not a large one, but a very nice healthy brown trout. It may actually be a sea trout spawn, I don't know. I, I have no idea how to make them apart, how to distinguish them. We'll try where this water hits the structure, but it appears the spot has been occupied by the one that we just caught. Oh, it's, it's a really nice spot actually. That distant corner of it is is not as attractive. Not a lot of water flows by it. Oh, oh I like this one. I don't remember this undercut. Another pretty small fish. Oh, it unhooked itself. It wasn't as small as the ones that we've seen before, as some of those that we've seen before, but still in the small category. Some takes again. Actually, I remember this spot, but typically, there's a fish. Typically, it's very shallow, actually. 
and very transparent. <laughs> there was a take again. This time it looks much more serious. Hmm. That fish attempted again, but all of these attempts are very so-so. So we reached a spot where a tributary falls into the stream. Slightly nicer one. Again, not a deep take. Actually, I will. This a dark medium sized brown. And okay, let's because I still don't feel the band, let's proceed. I actually lost count of the fish. I don't know if we reached the aim or oh there was a take again. The target of ten fish. definitely reach a target of 10 takes. I mean, there has been a lot of takes, but unfortunately not too many really large fish. So the stream will get slightly smaller, because there is, as I already mentioned, A tributary, a smaller stream falling into this one. Here it is. It's also pretty much large enough for trout. That was a good run, but maybe I'm too close. Maybe not. What I had us. A take, but a small fish. Oh, th there's a pretty nice one actually. Let's try again. Ah, a medium sized one. Here it is. Nice set of colors. I suppose we have caught ten. I think at least one, maybe two small ones. Followed the spinner. It looks pretty nice, but it's not a deep run. You know, there are streams where there are simply no good holes. In those streams you will pay a lot of attention to every slightly deeper run you get, like this one for example, over there. But in this stream you can see there are some nice undercuts and some nice holes and maybe even 
some pool like structures which are extensive holes so small ones again showing interest That was a nice undercut. As you can see by the way the grass is bent, there has been a pretty significant rise of water, I think, probably yesterday. So now the water is actually falling, and that's no surprise. Slow approach, and Yet another small one to unhook. As you can see, I'm taking it by the hooks and just shake, shaking it slightly. It falls into the water. I didn't touch the fish. Okay, spiders finding my ears. Pretty attractive. <laughs> the way takes immediately. Obviously, this is a small trout run, but the one above looks pretty good. But you can see this tree. This tree is quite low and. The tree wouldn't be such a big problem if not for those small branches. Actually, I cannot let you go downstream, sorry, buddy. This a medium sized healthy looking fish, but yeah, it's all in the cast. My first cast was perfect, it, it followed, it attempted a take, but didn't couldn't do it. So it and you can see the second cast, I hooked it into invisible, at least the, the one that I cannot see, a branch or something. And if the first cast was like that, oh, it's it's probably a root of a tree. So as you can see, I unhooked it very easily when I approached it. But truth is, I managed to jerk it from the opposite side. And if I tried to do the same from the distance, obviously it would be very difficult. So. That was a take. So it wasn't really there were no point in trying to oh, it unhooked itself. That's quite good actually. Another small undercut. Not a lot of space to turn around. Usually, large fish like more freedom of movement, but there can be one here. conditions I'm not gonna stay there for longer.
a small fish got off by itself yeah so these are quick shallow runs with some undercuts but maybe too shallow for larger fish immediately a smolly a very good hookup as you can see but an extremely small fish okay let's find another nice fish and we'll wrap it up at least decent fish because we may not be able to find a nice one and actually we may not be able to find a decent one you never know in fishing this is some nice oh, there was a fish and I lost it immediately As you can see there are some logs all under the water, there are some other things and fish sometimes, even large ones, will stay in there but more, I, I would say that's more typical for, for larger streams. Okay, is that decent? I don't know, it's a medium-sized fish mosquitoes 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 it's actually a small one but today after all of, all of those tiny ones, it looks okay. It's this type of stream. Nevertheless, there can be large ones found in there occasionally. Okay, so this is a bend followed by a set of nice structures. Oh, there was a fish. I don't know where did it come from, maybe it followed, but I didn't notice it. No interest. Maybe too close. As you can see the spinner, it follows the path of the current without you have, having to do much work. was in this case as well actually I expected something nicer here
it and the water lock didn't produce either so let's move on sometimes the fish will be standing in the beginning of the run even if it's shallow but it appears not this time shallow and flat pool okay that's a nice bend to check it out let's try and see if the fish can come after the spinner oh there is one a small fish here it is difficult to make long distance casts underneath such things as this fallen tree so I'll step over it no I will use this window right here problem with this window is that if I hooked something decent and would have to fight it it wouldn't be so straightforward because my I would have to go probably upstream and this branch is in the way but it's it's not a, a big problem much more concerned by the fact that there are no takes no more takes rather pretty deep I let it sink but either there is no active fish in there or I don't know I don't can get to it but I doubt it there was that small one so maybe that's it There is a small one there. I'll try this bend again. Hmm. No need. That was not the best time for a snack. I'm forced to wade in right above this second section of this twist. That's 
a snag and I made a couple of casts so I'm at least 80% certain there will be no takes here now let's work for the other 20% that a take obviously this is not a large volume bend so fish has all of the time and, and the life so to speak to see the spinner very amateurish tea bagging no results so this is one of the first bends where there were depth there was depth and only the small fish eventually Fallen trees. There's a goal like spot, but that's pretty nice actually not the highest percentage way to check out a spot like that Standing right on top of it. But better than nothing. In any case, the pretty predictable string of active fish, oh, that was a nicer one that we had before, is sort of ending. One attempt and no more. Man, that was a take, I'm not sure about the size. This looks like a very simple undercut, but I've caught a really nice fish once there. So as you can see, it's really quite good. A small, small trout again. Very dark back on this one. But I 
very small fish. And also it appears this molly had the luxury of occupying this pretty good undercut. Stream is concentrating near that bank. There is some depth, so most definitely good conditions even for the largest of trouts. That was a very good cast for this pot. That is another beauty. I lost this one. And actually I was in a pretty bad position. the fish was not large. The spot is pretty good. Again, the fish is small. Another small one. You know, I get a feeling that a big fish is getting close, but you never know. You may get it on the next cast, you may get it in a year. So I will be wrapping it up pretty soon. Still looking for one last decent fish. I think I exceeded my initial goal of 10 by quite some. Majority unfortunately are pretty small. This is not the stretch I'm after, but we have some twists coming up. Let's see if they can give us a closing. Hmm. Again, I, I snagged it. As soon as I'm above the spot, it will unsnag itself. Oh. But when you try to pull it, in this case downstream, 
nothing will happen. It will just make it worse. So the likeliest way to unsnag these things is not by pulling, but rather by mm, twitching, by shaking it. Oh, actually, I lost my concentration for a moment and there was a tick. There's another one, but the one before was slightly better, I, I, I feel. Here it is. An open set of bands. a small one, a very small one, so basically, oh man, there were some pretty interesting moments and we could go on shooting but you never know for how long this barrage of small ones and pretty actually inactive stretch will continue, so maybe I will shoot a, a part number two of this one we'll see. But for now, this will be it for the segment. This was Uncut Fishing, folks. If you liked it, um, click the like button, subscribe, that always helps. And I'll see you next time.